Hey, welcome back. If you're a programmer, you must be using some kind of IDE. There are so many options these days. Here are some of my favorite online IDEs that I usually suggest to all my students. Let's start with IDE 1. IDE 1 is very simple online IDE and compiler. It allows you to enter and type your code online. Once you're done, you can run it and test it. I'm going to use some of uh, my example here. And as you see, it has a loop. It has some kind of variables and some output to the screen. Here, I'm going to run it, but you will find out that what's missing is there is does not allow you to enter user input while it's running. Here is the output for my code. If you go back, you lose all your code. So you have to bring it back from somewhere. And I suggest you can use something like Notepad and save your code and paste, copy it and paste it to that ID. Now, your input has to be entered or pre-entered before you run your compiler. Now, you need to know how many inputs that you will be using. So in this case, I have five. That means I have to enter all my five inputs before I click on run. If I click on run, you will see it compiling and running. And here is the correct answer for my inputs. It doesn't look and feel like a real IDE and um, like a, a machine that I can run and execute my, um, my output from my uh, uh, compiler. So I, it's not my first choice. However, if you're a beginner and you don't want to get into a lot of details, this compiler IDE is okay to start with. Again, if you go back, you will see that you lose your code again. But this IDE, as the other ones, give you option to choose which language that you will be working with. And it has a lot of programming languages to choose from. Next would be tutorialspoint.com. It is very similar to IDE1.com in the way that it handles IOs, inputs and outputs, and, and, and in general, the simplicity of uh, an IDE. It, again, um, give you the option to enter your code here. So I'm gonna paste my code from here And as you can see, it has really nice color coded um, inside the code. And one thing you will notice also that it does not give you um, uh, a quick error check. Um, so if you have the wrong or miss, uh, keyword or mistype, it will not tell you until the end. Um, again, it. Um, give you the execution, the option to execute, and the output will be here, the result. So if I execute it, again, you will find out that there is missing input, did not request it, the user input. So I have to go back and go to standard input, and as you can see, enter multiple values in separate lines. So what I'm gonna do is do the same thing, and I enter my standard input, I go back to my code and execute it again. And as you see, you have a good output that you expect for average and based on the code. Now, again, if um, it, it is a little better because you don't lose your code as you um, execute and fix it and 
let's say you have an error here and you do execute it, you get an error and it's a really good uh, explanation and it points you to the right line. It's before while, so it's right here, which hopefully you can tell that where the error is, it's 11. Okay, so you didn't lose the code. In the other IDE1.com, if you got an error, a uh, compilation error, and you try to go back, your code is gone. Again, this is a good compiler for beginners. You can um, practice for schoolwork or assignment, but it's not really for um, a long run. Okay, next is OnlineGDP.com. This online IDE compiler is one that takes programming into the next step further. Here you uh, you have the option to run and debug and stop debugging. Um, basically you have some type of uh, interactive console and some kind of debugging console. Okay, I put my code here and as uh, I mentioned before, it the, the IDE, online IDE, would support multiple programming language. If you choose from, I am running C, and I pasted my code. I can run it. And as you will see here, it looks a little better than the other IDEs because it actually prompts you to enter user inputs as the code actually was designed. Okay, so as you see, I got my average and my inputs, and um, my, uh, in, my user inputs were triggered at the right time, at the right order, and once you click or press enter, it goes back. Okay, so this one also takes it one fa step farther, which is debug. If you click on debug, it will start GDB debugger. If you're familiar with GDB debugger, you can continue with that debugger. It's a little um, advanced. You can always type help here and you will get all the helpful uh, commands that you can use with GDB debugger. One of them is to create a breakpoint. So you can say help breakpoints and it will give you more details on how you can actually assign breakpoints so um, you can inspect and debug your code. Here is a quick glance on how to do debugging. For example, I have this code and let's say I wanted to create um, a breakpoint right here so every time the code executes this line it will uh, pause or break and i can see all my variables and all my um, values of uh, other uh, functions you can go here and click right here somewhere this will allow you to break at this line or you can start running the debugger and from debugger you can say break let's say this line is 15 so I'm gonna say 15 it will tell you that yes it will uh, break point 1 and at line XYZ and it's a line 15 good so now I can run if I run my code it will execute my code as you see and it will break right there at this point all my, my variables are zeros and um, there is not enough information to display at this point. And of course, I'm running inside function main. So I can continue. It will execute. Normally, I can enter a value and it will come back and break at the same line again at this point my variable have more information that I can display. So the count is basically, it says it's one, my value is four, 
my sum is four and the average because I never uh, assign value to it, it is zero. So I can either run or continue um, or quit. At this point I can continue. It will continue running my program. I can enter a value and it will repeat the same thing. So as you can see, I have two counts. I have my value is four. My summation is zero, uh, four, eight. And my average is zero. I'm still on main. And now I can either quit or, um, or continue or run from the beginning. At this point, I'm going to quit. It will ask you to quit anyway. Yes, I say yes. Okay. Okay, finally, uh, Replit.com is my favorite IDE or online IDE compiler. It has a full suite of um, IDE compiler and uh, Linux environment console that um, give you the full package basically to allow you to develop, run your code, compile it, and debug it. Um, here you can see you can create multiple files by adding a file or adding a folder even. You can run your code uh, that you have on your um, file here and it gives you a full console like Linux that you can actually um, execute different commands on it. As you can see on my current folder, I have main as the executable and main.c, which is the source file. You also can see where that folder is. It's in my home and runner. I guess that's their default user and first demo. Okay, I um, can execute my code by clicking on run. And here you can enter all the inputs that my program requires and you see the average you can do clear and by tapping it has um, it can auto finish your commands or uh, your um, on your console line um, you can also execute your program after you compile it by directly type in your um, your executable name on the console. Okay, one good thing about this um, compiler, IDE, it has error check. So if you type the wrong uh, variable or you um, have a, a wrong uh, keyword here like while it will give you quick error uh, underlined flagging and uh, this way you know immediately that something or uh, something is wrong or where the error is um, also it has a debugger built in so you can put uh, breakpoints wherever you need to and it will uh, allow you to create or uh, run the debugger and uh, once you have a breakpoint it will let you start running so here um, you can run so uh, it, it shows you the breakpoints and you can run or you can um, skip and, and continue so once you run you see it will um, stop at the break point or break here at the break point again as we tried before some of the values do not exist yet have not been initialized if i uh, next step or you can next break point so what i'm gonna do next break point it means it's gonna execute some of the um, code i'm gonna enter a value 
and now it's gonna break again because it loops to the beginning and it, you see that I entered, entered two, count as one, and so on. If I continue to next breakpoint, it will continue. Um, executing. If I wanted to tap in my code with to next line, as you can see, I can actually step line by line and here is F and I can just jump to the next breakpoint. So as you see there is a debug menu here or kind of toolbar. Once you get out of the debugger you will lose your files. You can go back and show your files and the project files here. Um, you can create so many options and um, basically uh, instead of just adding file, you can also add folders and it, this project can get really complex uh, if you're comfortable with that style. So now we come to the end of this video. Thank you so much. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and find some uh, information to help you with uh, IDEs and, um, and uh, making uh, a decision on which ID, online IDE to choose from. Um, if you're interested to go through um, the code I used in my um, example, I'm creating another a video to go through all the step-by-step -step and details of the code uh, and also I'm going through have um, videos to explain how the while loops work and other uh, programming uh, techniques. Hopefully that will be helpful and we'll see you on next video.